In this video, I'll be talking about setting up transport controls in Cakewalk by BandLab with a Native Instruments A-Series keyboard controller. I recently picked up a Native Instruments A61 keyboard controller. I'm a long-time Native Instruments complete user, and with Complete 13, I decided to buy into the whole ecosystem with one of their keyboards. Suffice to say, searching and selecting presets in Complete Control software works perfectly. I recently did a video comparing Complete Control with Akai's VIP software. You can check it out here. Although I didn't intend to use the transport controls on my A61 very much, I was curious about how to get them working in Cakewalk by BandLab. Native Instruments keyboards are perfectly compatible with Cubase, Studio One, Logic, Ableton, and Nuendo, but as usual, Cakewalk or Sonar has been left off the list. This is not unusual, as Cakewalk is almost always left out of the loop when talking about DAWs. I'm not really sure why, but that's a discussion for another time. So this means you need a bit of a workaround to get transport functionality in Cakewalk. I cobbled together a few forum posts and whatnot to arrive at a solution that's far from perfect, but sort of works. I'm assuming that you've got Complete Control installed and set up your A-Series keyboard in the preferences in Complete Control. The first thing you'll need is the MMCL Mackie Control Driver. I've included a link to the download in the description below. Unzip the file and run the installation. Once the installation is complete, open Cakewalk by BandLab. Go into Preferences, MIDI Devices, and check the input and output for Complete Control A DAW. Click Apply, and then go to the Control Surfaces settings. Here, add a new controller and select the MMCL Mackie Control Number 1 option and pick Complete Control A DAW for the input and output ports. Click OK to exit preferences. The last thing to do is go to the Utilities menu and click the MMCL Mackie Control Number 1 option. Here, check the option for Disable Handshake and close the window. On your A-Series keyboard, make sure you're running in MIDI mode. If you have a session of Complete Control active, it may be in browser or plugin mode. Press the plugin MIDI button and it should show MIDI mode in the display screen. Now, the jog wheel on your A-Series keyboard will move the playhead back and forth in Cakewalk. Play and stop should work as expected, and you'll have to arm a track for recording before the record button will actually start recording. That's really all that will work in Cakewalk with the A-Series controller. With other DAWs, you could switch tracks, adjust their levels, arm tracks for recording, undo a recording, and probably more. But until Native Instruments develops compatibility for Cakewalk, this workaround will have to do. Please comment below if you found this helpful, or if you found a better way to get more transport functionality with your A-Series keyboard in Cakewalk by BandLab. Thanks for watching.